Hi everyone, April here from Piano Lessons Info and in this video we're talking about inversions in terms of chord progressions. So what I mean by this is we're going to play a chord in a chord progression and use inversions to make it easier to play. Okay, so that's that's why we learn inversions. So if you haven't uh, learned what a chord inversion is before, it's basically moving the notes of the chord into a different spot but still playing all the notes of that chord. And there are a few standard inversions. Um, a root, a first, and a second inversion. Okay, so we're going to play a C, G, A minor, F chord progression. Okay, so if we play it all in the root, we're playing C here, G, A minor, F. So we can make this easier. We can play the C chord. C and G have one note in common, the G. So if we keep that finger and we think about the rest of the notes, the chord G has G, B, D. We just need to change to that. So those went to there. And then we've got A minor. So we could go to the root, or we were here. We could move everything up one and play A minor in its first inversion. Because then when we play F, the only difference is here to here. Okay, so let's do that again. C goes to G. Keep your finger on G and add in the rest of the notes. There's no common notes between G and A minor, so we're moving every finger. But there are two common notes with A minor, a minor and F, so we're just going to go like that. Okay, let's do another one. We will do, let's go G, just think G to D. Okay, so this is a very common uh, a G. If we're if we're in the key of G, it's the one chord, and the key and D is the five chord. And any one to five, you can basically go like this. So C to G. So G to D. So we're just moving these bottom two down. So if we go F to C, which is the five chord in the key of F, doesn't matter if you don't know what that is, we're just showing you go F, C, F, C, basically. Let's keep going on this and do the four, the one to four. So if we have a C chord to an F chord in the key of C, I know it's a bit confusing, let's change to the G, key of G. So G is the one chord, C is the four chord. They both have the G in common, so you just move these two up. G, C, G, C. So that's the one to four. If we play C to F, which is a one to four, C, that's gonna move, we're gonna move those. If we're in the key of F, the four chord is B flat. Okay, so we're gonna move these two to there. Now, the reason I talked about that is because when we're back in the key of C, we can just know if we've got an F chord, we can move those up back to C, and we've got a G. So we got a D. Which is very common, very common to come into songs. Or we can go G, F, C. Okay, so it's it's useful. Okay, let's let's play in the key of G. A few more of these inverted chords. So we're gonna play G, G, B, D. 
and then we're going to play the D chord. So we're going to keep that note in common. One, two, three, four, five is the fifth chord. So we can play like that. G to D. Let's play E minor. And then go to C. So C, we can we only have to change one note to there. Okay, so we to play G, D, E minor in root, C. So why this is useful is because if you want to play the melody of a chord, say row, row, row your boat, we can just fit all the rest of the chord below our melody so it stands out. Okay, so we played every inversion there to play that. So things like that. That's why it's good to get to know it. So if you didn't watch the video on practicing triads um, or chords, inversions, and you want to know how to practice them, you can watch that one. And if you have any questions about this, let me know and I'll see if I can do another video on it for you. Okay, see you later.